LeBron James seen on Lakers bench with walking boot on injured ankle. On Saturday, Los Angeles Lakers superstar LeBron James suffered a high ankle sprain in a contest against the Atlanta Hawks and is out indefinitely. He still traveled with the team to Arizona for Sunday's game against the Phoenix Suns and was seen on the bench during the game wearing a walking boot on his injured ankle. LeBron's behind the Lakers bench with a boot on his injured right ankle. After James sustained the injury, and 10th Ray came up negative. Already without Anthony Davis, the Lakers were starting to find their stride when James went down, as they were riding a four-game winning streak. Not surprisingly, they lost to the Hawks. After tonight, the Lakers head east and face the New Orleans Pelicans on Tuesday. Luckily, after that they will have a four-game homestand, mostly against non-elite teams. They will face the Philadelphia 76ers this upcoming Thursday, but MVP candidate Joel Embiid likely won't play due to a knee injury. How long will LeBron James be out? The short answer. It's too early to know when James will be able to rejoin the Lakers starting lineup. The average missed time for a high ankle sprain over the last 782 game seasons has been approximately 10 games, according to injury expert Jeff Stotts. However, Stotts noted that a quicker return is possible. From his 2018 breakdown of Klay Thompson's high ankle sprain, the timeline of recovery for ankle sprains widely varies based on a number of factors including the severity of damage, the involved joint and any other accompanying injury. Treatment for a high ankle sprain is the same as a normal medial or lateral ankle sprains but generally take longer to heal. A big reason for this extended recovery time is linked to the disruption of overall stability and potential widening of the ankle mortis. Los Angeles has unsurprisingly struggled when Davis and James sit, but the Lakers aren't nearly as concerned with their seating as they are with having a healthy roster heading into the postseason. They will likely be extremely cautious when it comes to James's recovery timeline. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.